uh, the exhibition parallel narratives, it's not just about presenting or representing the Eastern European art, uh, both were avant-garde, but it's also about thinking uh, the fact what the processes that started after the communism uh, collapsed uh, meant for the rest of the world. So it's not when some, a big part of the world changes, it obviously influences also the rest of the world. So for us here, it's important to, uh, to say that um, new territories, uh, when they become more visible, uh, the art from these territories also influence the, influences the existing art system and existing narratives uh, and it's kind of uh, uh, starting to deconstruct the hegemonic positions. That's why the exhibition is formed about the different narratives. It has this heterogeneous structure. So there is not just na one narrative and it means that the new histories that are now being formed influence the concept of just one hegemonic narratives. So that the, the message of this exhibition is that the future is based on the plur plurality of the narratives. And with the fourth narratives that this exhibition is based on are about the museum collection. So how the museum's collections uh, follow the uh, art histories through the selection of the artworks. Then we have one narrative that is based on the artist's work and it, we call it self-histories. It's mostly about the artist's archive. And then we have the fictive histories where the artists group the works in the frame of one installation as they would form the collections, the small installations, are about the um, autonomous communication between the artworks itself. So the message is that it's not necessarily the curator or the museum who would kind of organize the history and the collection, that artworks have also their own life. And the fourth narrative is about the art system. So it op opens the question about the history, which is very much depending on the, on the museum collections.